everyone, it's Dali here from Dali Art Market. Um, I've got some exciting projects to show you today. I'm going to be looking at Dream of the Magical Things. So what I've got here is, I've got this beautiful pad. Um, there we go, so that's really lovely. Um, and that's what I'm going to be working with today. So we're going to see, be seeing a lot of this. This is a 200 GSM. It's been designed um, by me. I've collated some images. I've licensed some images. I've drawn some images. So it's a real, real collaboration of the Shock Art Sisters here. I and mean, just look at that double spread there. So you can just see how beautiful that is and the colours are. So it's so vibrant. So this is the new Dream of the Magical Things. Um, you can buy two for $9.99, so that's our offer. Um, you can also download the digital version of this as well. So if you want to print this over and over again, you can do so if you don't want to um, basically buy it in print. And that way you can actually print it onto rice paper, you can print it onto vellum, you can print it onto fabric if your printer allows it, you can print it onto copier paper. So there's just so many options. I mean, it is the most beautifulest pad. I really do love it, if I say so. Um, so these have all been drawn by me, and you can see some of the girls that you will have recognised from previously. So it's a, just a beautiful pad to work with. We've given you some toppers. We've given you some of these little, little um, uh, squares. And I know Jill said to me yesterday, um, these will be go really great with the, I think it's called twitches and inches um, with the that's crafty stuff as well so they've been designed so that you get quite a lot in that book um, and it's absolutely beautiful and like I said it's slightly um, unusual because it's 8.6 inches so we've given you a little bit extra on each of those pages to mat and layer we've also got 22 designs it's double sided it's acid free so that's um, that's one of the ones that dream of the magical things now I'll also, I'll be using this as my main, main base, but today I'll also be using um, the stamp from Stampira. We've only got a couple of these left, unfortunately. Um, they are the most beautiful stamps and they are, that's WTK, WTK CC 104. So they're really, really beautiful. Again, they're available on the Dali Art Market website. Now I'm going to show you some examples of some of the things that I've actually made. Paul's just putting the lights on because I'd obviously switched them off because I'm so silly. Um, so the, what we're going to be doing today is this little booklet here. It is so, so cute. So let me just open that out. And all I've done is I've just wrapped some string, a little bit of twine around that just to keep that all together. So that's the stamp that you see there. There we go. So you can see I've been using that. I love that stamp. And what I've done is I've made this little book with using all the little bits that have been left over. And it's just so, so cute. Can you see? And we're going to be using the Pip Art ATC, ATC stamps as well because they work really well with this little album. So what else have I made with these papers? So I've made this really beautiful little uh, tool toolbox I haven't even glued it get together yet but can you see how beautiful those look they are so lovely papers and you get so much value so they're absolutely lovely to work with very very smooth okay I have to say a big thank you to, to Jill she just made this for me so this has got the beautiful um, papers again with some of the Dali art um, or shock art I should say embellishments but it's also got the transparent crackle with actual oil put through it. So this is so beautiful. I mean, in real life, you should see it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I have to say a big thank you. I had an amazing time with Jill. We had a couple of days together. She's also used the stencil paste at the top there. I think you can see that. And she's also used these all the little tags that come in the book which really make lovely little mini albums so you can just see she's done some beautiful work with all of those again another little tag there and again you can you can use this with your albums you can use this to create 
scrapbooks. So you've got lots and lots of different options there. So can you just see how beautiful that all is? This little one drawn by me. So there we go. So you've got so many nice images there. And again, you could add more to these. And again, that beautiful crackle, transparent crackle from Pentart that Jill's used with. Um, I think she may have even used some sort of, uh, it looks like a, a copper wax, but I'm sure she'll be able to tell us. And then these beautiful little shabby ribbons, which are so cute. So that's a really lovely project. I also have to say, uh, Memories Paper Art, which is with Tamara Morton, she also made a beautiful album. So please go onto the Facebook page or the YouTube page and please have a look at what uh, Tamara has been doing there. Now, the other thing I've done is I've also done a beautiful, um, I say a 12 by 12 uh, page, um, which gives you this beautiful, this is the rice paper um, plus the, the papers plus some of the texture impressions. Now we have got a kit for this, um, which includes some of these elements, the rice paper, the pad. Um, you've also going to get other elements as well. So please take a look, that's the full kit. But that just shows you. Now, I've used those papers on all of this, on my little carrier case. I've also made the little booklet with it that we're going to be making today. Um, and I've also today want to share with you this beautiful ATC um, box, which Hobbylicious actually um, made for us, uh, for Pip actually, when she did her ATCs. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, and we made them because we had the ATC stamps. Let me see if that doesn't reflect too much. And they are absolutely beautiful. And I'll be using that in my project today as well. So really nice to work with. So let me just show you this little box. It already, it comes to you flat packed and I'll just show you very quickly. So it comes to you like this. So very, very, very well made, really beautiful. And then you get your three beautiful ATCs and you could add to these. And that's why I made this little little book because that book sits perfectly inside that box so you can see how beautiful that is okay so then you've got all the other elements oops which is so easy to put together just a little bit of glue nothing much more than that and you'll really I'll just show you very quickly here so easy I mean it's just so big piece here little pieces on the side so we always know because I'll click in. I mean, it is such good quality, I have to say. So there we go. We've got a few of these left. You've got the little key as well. Ooh. So, and then the big one goes, the one which is the, um, the, the, the bit that goes through the front goes there. So, what am I doing? There we go. And that's it. It's really simple. So that's it. And then you just glue those bits in so you can decorate it before or after. Always be careful if you're actually putting them into anything. And really, without even gluing it, putting a little key in, you've got this beautiful album box. It is absolutely beautiful. I can't tell you the quality is amazing. And we have those on the website under ATC box. And then you get all your three really thick ATCs with that. So let me just show you my little box I've made. So what I did was I used the papers. I put one on the front there and one on the back there. And then I've made my box. And I also um, put papers on my box as well so that you can see. It's beautiful. And what I did was I went with a bluey green tone. But I also wanted to show you this is all still the same pad that I used for the little carrier case for the, for the, the actual big um, canvas. So let me just show you those. There we go. And then I've got pink on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to put them down so you can see the blue first. Okay, just look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely. Oops, let me put her eye the right way around for you. So you can just see how lovely they are. Now you could make these into little albums. You could make them into uh, whatever you want. 
And then we've got this beautiful pink, pink tones. So again, you can see how beautiful all of those are. So these are absolutely lovely, lovely to work with. I can't tell you, look at them. Oh, they're so beautiful papers. They're just so, so nice, so versatile. Look at those colors. And these papers have been designed so that you can actually color them and that's what I'm gonna be showing you as well. So let's work on the project that we're working on for now. So let me just put this into here. Put my little key in. I'll just look at that. So this could be, it's an ATC because it's an ATC um, uh, design. Sorry, I should go, be going this way. ATC design. So you could make this into a little album. You could put other things into this. You could even make it into a little, a little shadow box. So that's beautiful. I love that. I really do. So without further ado, today what we're going to do is, is make a little, a little concertina album which will be going into your little box, which is so, so cute, so cute. Okay, so let me talk you through how I'm going to do that. So to make this piece of the concertina, all you need is to get an A4 sheet. Okay, so I'm going to show you today how to do that. So all I've done is I've got an A4 sheet of paper. So if it was this way, this would be A4, okay? And then what I've done is I've cut that down um, basically three and a half inches this way. The width is three and a half inches. This is a normal A4 page. And then all I've done is I've scored at two and a half inches on all of them of the, as I've gone through. So let me do that now. So all I'm doing is scoring at two and a half inches. So what I tend to do is I tend to score it then I tend to bend it. So I score and I bend. And what I try to do is so that I feel this is the better way for me. And again, you could just do this and it's easier if you're anybody like me who can't measure um, and wants to just go, go and do this. Um, so there we go. And you know, and I'm just gonna fold that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do another, another one at two and a half. This way, it's sort of keeping it together as well, so that if you're a little bit off or anything, you've actually always going to be folding to your your actual creases of your paper. Now, let me just fold that. So it just gives this beautiful. Sorry, I'm just going out of camera there. Beautiful book. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to take the last bit. Again, it will be two and a half because everything's at two and a half. Is just take that last bit. Okay, now if you're worried you've folded them the wrong way or anything, don't be, because depending on how you want your book, because at the moment it is, so that's it. I keep putting it out of um, sight. Okay, so that's exactly the same as what I've done here. Okay, so that's how you do that. So basically take an A4 sheet of paper, i show you like this, and then just go and score at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and then you've got your last one at 10. So it's just really, really easy to do. So that's how we're gonna get started. So very simple, I love this effect. I'll just put my board over there. And I just think it's a really nice way to get started. So now you can start however you want. So you can look at your pages inside and start that way. Now, first thing you need to do is make sure if you're gonna have this Constantina bit at the front, that you're going to have that straight there. So what I'm gonna do here is, I can see I obviously can't cut straight um, or fold straight or something. Um, I'm just gonna tail that off. I must have cut that at some point. Okay, so, but that doesn't matter too much. Now you could even take and put edges on this um, if you wanted to, just little edges, uh, usual dies. Um, so I've used some, I'm going to be using some of the Elizabeth Crafts planner dies as well in this, just to show you. So where do you start? That's the first question. Everybody asks me, where do I start? I'll put this little bit of plastic because I find underneath it helps me. So the way I start is I look at, well, all the pages I want to fill, but I feel that I haven't got a background. So I'm going to start with a background. Now the colours I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose a different colour this time. 
and purely because then it gives you an idea of how easy it is to change these papers, how easy it is to, to get a different look each time you do this. So I'm just going with, actually I've gone with wilted violet. You could go with any colour. The reason I've gone with wilted violet, let me just show you, is that within this there are blue, purple, green tones. And so I thought that it would be nice to sort of pull some of those tones out. And that's the reason I've just picked this colour on this occasion. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is choose your choose the colour you want to go with. Which distress colour do you want to go with? Or any inks that you've got that you're going to be doing this with. First choose that. Okay, choose a stamp set that you may have or like um, to do your backgrounds. Now I've chose this one by Stamperia, which is one of my favourite. It is always will be one of my favourite stamp sets, I think. Um, it was one of the first ones I ever used, and it goes with the uh, Letters and Flowers album. And I wanted it because it had these beautiful words, this beautiful dragonfly, and this beautiful background. So that's what I'm going to use. And what I'm using is, I'm just going to use a, a Versafine and a light, this is a rich cocoa, but a, like a light brown background. So I'm going to start off with my light brown background first. And there is, the whole idea of this is, is it's not meant to be neat, it's not meant to be precise. So all I'm doing is, I'm just going to be starting to ink the back of this, okay. I mean, I absolutely love this technique. And I'll probably do one side just to show you, because otherwise we could be here all day. Um, so, you know, these, these projects take a little bit of time. Now you can see there I've already stamped and it's quite nice because I'm not I'm not going in on all the letters deeply with the ink ink pad. I'm just going randomly. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit here, go over the creases. Don't worry. Doesn't matter if you go over the letters again. And I'm just using these stamps already. Um, they do have a sticky top, so you can mount them onto a acrylic block. But they're so strong, they're so good quality, um, you don't need to, to be honest. You can just use your hands, and this is exactly what I'm doing here. So all I'm doing is keep them in the same, same vein, obviously, in the same direction, I should say. So that way you've got all of yours going in the same direction. I don't mind if it's lighter somewhere. I don't mind if it's darker somewhere. I don't mind if I use some of the, the, the letters and some of the others. So stamp parts of your stamp. So, and if you find you've got a little bit where you're finding you've got a little gap, just go in with just, just tap it in. And then that you've got that really nice background coming on. So don't worry too much. And you could do this with numbers. You could do this with a crackle stamp. You could do, the idea is, is we're just covering the back of this book. Um, little album, Constantina album, and again, I might want to put a few there. And so keep doing that until you've covered both, you would do both sides, I'm going to do one side so we can see how this looks. And it doesn't take once you've decided what stamp, and you could do both sides different, so you could go with one colour on one side, one colour on the other, and then another colour. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this front because otherwise you're going to get a effect which isn't going to work at the front when I stick other bits on. So I'm just going to do a little bit. In fact, why don't I just go for it and do both sides. That way we've done it. So I'm just using parts of the stamp. It's a really quick way to get your stamp down. Um, there we go. And it's just such a nice technique. So I'm just pressing my stamp into the ink pad and just going down with it. Okay, so let's do some lower letters. And then you can still come in. So you can do second generation because it's really nice. And what I mean by that is you can actually stamp twice without actually going back to your ink pad. So I love this effect. Um, and today at three o'clock, I'm going to be doing a closed group, which is called Layla Flowers. And you can sign up to that if you want to. It's just five pounds. 
and I'm going to be making a beautiful composition and showing you a few techniques uh, of how to get backgrounds and how to do that. Let me just show you her while we're talking. Um, so that's Layla, flowers. Now, if you want to do this project, you can follow me on Layla Flowers. It's um, a little mini workshop. It's an online workshop. I'm just seeing how this all works for you all. Uh, we do have a kit available as well for the whole entire um, two stamps plus the backing and everything else and the stencil that goes and the embellishments that goes to make this beautiful. Let me just show you all the detail. So you can just see how beautiful she is. That's at three o'clock today. So if any of you want to join me, please sign up and join me. If you buy the kit, you will receive the video. So if you're not, if you're somebody who doesn't want to go watch and wants to do it in your own time, then you can do that. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you as well. Okay, so this is, should be dried as well. So that's a good time why I did that as well. Good timing. Right, now I'm going to come in because this, um, I'm going to come in with the next step, I should say, is I want a bit of black in my my work as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the first fine. There's this beautiful sort of notebook stamp in this collection. And all I'm going to do, again, don't think about it. Just go in randomly and just place wherever you just see little gaps. Um, doesn't have to be perfect and just go in. Be aware that when you do um, stamp and reverse fine, that you don't get black everywhere. Okay, just use wipe that away a little bit so that we don't get that everywhere. Right, I'm going to turn that over and do the same. Okay, again, don't worry where you're putting it and where you're not. And again, you can use any background stamps to create this effect. So that's as easy as it gets. So you've just got these little bits of black coming through because you want little I want to show all these different uh, textures and this creates texture okay so the next thing I did was I took that ATC stamp I was talking about from the Pip Art collection okay and that's this set it's absolutely beautiful great for even albums great for journaling you don't need to use them as ATC stamps okay, I think that one's on sale at the moment as well so you could get a good deal on that one. Okay, so what am I going to do with this? So let me first ink it in the lighter colour so that, I do, that I'm going to go in with black. And I'm going to use this as one of my pages as a background. So I've done that here actually, just to show you. Should I show you just that? So I've done it here and it creates this beautiful border for other bits to sit in. What I'm going to do is just have a look, always have a look when you're working where you are. So I'm going to actually put it on the, the, the back page here. Okay, so that's where I'm pressing it. Just notice I didn't cover all of it. These are absolutely beautiful stamps, really nice, made in the UK um, and absolutely beautiful. So all I'm going to do is, hopefully my head, no, my head isn't coming into the camera, so that's brilliant, is just go in with that. There you go. So all I'm doing is pressing that down. Oh, going everywhere, aren't I? There we go. And just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a lovely, lovely, lovely stamp. Okay. Now you could stamp again. You could use the other one and stamp. But I just wanted to show you, even with a Distress Oxide, they stamp lovely. Now what I want to do with that also is, is I want to use a little bit of that because I love... There's a little bit of script here and, and little bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it slightly upside down. And what you'll get is, is you still will get a little bit of purple coming through. And that's what I like about, I like about this sort of thing. And if you feel you want to do more, you can do more. So we can go back to that if we wanted to. I always say do less and then you can always come back. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is, is take the Distress Oxide of our choice. And I find that I like to do this at this stage. Everybody's different. Some people will wait until the end. So on every crease, just go, go in. Make sure that you do that on every crease. Okay, just use the edge of your blending tool. If you don't have a blending tool, 
if you've got some cotton wool or you've got a little bit of a baby, dry baby wipe, obviously a dry baby wipe, you know, you can do this. A bit of sponge, kitchen sponge does the same thing. So you've done all those edges. Turn it over the other way and then do the same. So just go in, just do all those edges again. I love these little books. I just think they're so cute. And they fit so well in that beautiful ATC box I showed you earlier. Okay. So then what we're going to do is, do the edge one as well. Is it's easier, you can either do, keep doing this, like that, or you can start to come in and put a little bit more of a border on. It really is up to yourselves because you're getting a little bit more. So I'm going to just go in with a little bit more. And it doesn't matter if you go too much or little, if you think you want to go back and do it this way, then you can do that as well because you can still control it how you want it. So let me just carry on with that. And I just love the way this all comes together. See how easy it has been already. So now you, what you could do is, is maybe make some backgrounds up like this. And then when you've got new stamps or you've got something you want to showcase, this is a really nice way to showcase. It's just, do you know, this is the only 250 GSM card stock I'm using as well. So you don't have to use anything heavy. I find it's, you know, it's easy. Um, and I do really enjoy working with it. Okay, so what have we got here? So we've got our little book. So there we go. So we've already got the makings of a little book already. Okay. So now I want to start to build this up. So you can stamp onto this or you can stamp onto a piece of card and then take it from there. Let me just use this little piece of card here. I've got handy. And what I want to do first is I want to stamp my little beauty sentiment from the set because I just love this. And that's what I'm going to do. So with Versafine, it takes a second or two to dry. So just always be careful when you're trying to ink with the Distress Oxides because it will move it. Now, if you ever have difficulty, you can always also, and I'm just using them as they are, by the way. I'm not mounting them. I'm not doing anything. They come out so beautiful. It's unbelievable. And you can use your um, stamping press as well. So there you go. Look how beautiful that is. Very, very easy to do. Extremely easy. And then all I've done is I'm just going to cut that. Okay. Now you could do this on a circular. Um, you can make it a circular. You can make it into a little tag. And I'm not worried if my lines, if they're not straight, straight. I'm not, that's not worrying me at all. Um, because I want it to look like it's something I've made. So the other one I want to do is this beautiful, I love this, this beautiful dragonfly. Okay, so I'm just going to do that to show you how easy it is. Just to press it into your verse mark. And because they've still got a stickiness at the top, it's fine. Just put it down and just press. And again, use your um, uh, stamping block. Use your, you know, your different tools that you might want to use when you're stamping. But the stamps are just so beautiful, I can't tell you. There you go. All the stamps that we, you know, the, the photopolymer ones, these ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let those dry for a second, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to stamp with those stamps. So I'll let those dry and then we'll come back to those. Okay, so where do we go next? This is where the little book, um, you know, a lot of people ask me, why did you design it? You know, why, why have you got all these little, little bits in there? One for value, so you can just see those. Um, you know, you've got different sizes, so like Jill did in hers, you could make them into little books. So you've got so much going on in this book. We've given you toppers, given you so much. It's not just eight by eight sheets of paper. And again, you can buy the digital download on that as well. Okay, so let's get started. Where are we going to start? So, Lisbeth Crafts does the planner dies, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use some of those elements. And we have them all on the website, so if you want to have a look. So, when I did the other one, I showed you, that's the green version, yeah? 
So that will go in my book somewhere, I think. Probably on this side here or something, yeah? Oh, let me show you properly. So yeah, so even by just sticking it down there, that's already made a difference, okay? So let's work on the one we're working on. So my next, next thing is, I'm looking for little elements from the book, okay? So just get your book. Oops, stuck my stamps to it. Um, and I've got mine, obviously I've been using mine, and I've still got, I'm not joking, you, will, you won't believe it, but that I've used it on all those projects, and I still have so, so much left. I've got all the other bits over here as well. So what I'm doing is, is I'm looking, well, I've chosen to go with purple. So last time I chose to go with a, uh, the sort of the turquoisey greens. So I want to look at things that I've got, I see purple in. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. This is actually uh, one of my little girls from my journaling that I drew. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut. I have made them into squares for you already, but what I tend to do is I'll take, on this occasion, I'm taking all the white space out. Um, you don't have to, you can. So, so then once I've got one cut out, what I tend to do is start to use that as my template and then I look for another image somewhere that I, or, um, that I want to do. So what I do, I think this has got a little bit of purple in it, let me choose this one. So that's, I'm choosing purple on this occasion, you could use a yellow ink pad, you could use a brown. So again, what I then do is I take the piece I've just had, position it where it was and then just go in and cut away. And that way, what you've got is, is they're all roughly the same. Now, they don't have to be. I've got lots of bits and pieces that I could use that are, there we go. So all I've done is just done those. Now, this is how they come to life. This is where it's a magical because the paper um, that we've selected is this beautiful matte version, which can be inked. So I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so all you do is you come in and look, you've changed the whole look of that little square just because you've edged it. Now, if I use a different color, it would be totally different. Now that just pulls that together. Okay, so you can see it on this one, but let me just put, put it versus this one. So I'll do the same with the other one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to layer these up. And you can put layers, you can put them as a, another little, you could do a little flip book if you wanted to within the book. So, you know, where you put them, so they're all just flipping up and you've got a little bit there. So, you know, you could do that. So let's have a look. So I'm actually going to have a look which one I like to sort of sit in there. So I like this one. I'm going to make that a little bit more square there. My cutting is awful. So usually you, what you can do is you can actually take a square die and then cut them. And if you've got some of those, well, I do have some of those. I don't know because I've used them before. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with putting, I think that one looks nice there. And now some people build all their pages and do it that way. I actually like to just go in and just go for it. Don't ask me why. It's just my style. Now, if you want to, you could do all your bits and pieces, all your cutting, and you could do that. But this is me, and this is how I like to do it. So I just want to show you that all of this is so versatile, this collection. Put that in the center a little bit. Yeah. See how that ATC just works with all of this. So you've got a little bit of that. Now you could come in with another one on top, so to break that square up, but I like that square, so I'm going to leave that square as it is. But what I like to do is, I'd like to put maybe the dragonfly on top of that. So if we go back to our dragonfly, all I'm going to do is quickly fussy cut that. Okay, and just show you how that can sit just there. And this could be, you know, on the front, it could be anywhere. So it's just about taking all those little bits in the, in the actual beautiful pad that we've created for you um, and just taking them and bringing them to life. 
So I'm just doing this quite quickly. So again, it's just so lovely the stamps to work with. It just gives you an idea very quickly how you can then create these beautiful, beautiful pieces. Okay, if you want to leave a little edge to ink, then you can do that as well. So all we're doing is just coming in, just cutting. There's, you don't need, I know a lot of people have problems with their hands, uh, you don't need to be somebody who needs to cut, you know, so that it's perfect. And Dali definitely will not be perfect, I can assure you. Um, so we're just coming in with this. And Jill's probably saying, can you get a smaller pair of scissors, Dali? And I do need to get those out. I have been very naughty. So later on, I will use the little pair of scissors and get this done. So just pull that out. So I'm quite happy with it like this, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my Distress Oxide and I'm going to ink it. Again, this is all about matching it all up. Now, if you wanted to use two colours, you could use two colours. But I'm quite happy with just this one colour. And then all I'm going to do is sit that on there and just look. Just look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, It's just one little page in your book. Okay? So then we would do that. Right, I'm not going to stick that down because I'm going to show you that on the front as well. Now if we go back to... If I can actually find it now, where I've actually, oh, here we are. Go back to our beauty in the little things. You would do the same again. You would take a little bit of your ink pad and you would go through. What I tend to do is darker in the middle, um, sorry, on the edges, and then just come in with a very, very light touch on the top. Not too dark because we don't want it to be too dark. And then that will just sit there on the front. So let me just stick that down as well to show you. Now, the other thing we can do, and you will see I've done it on this one, is you can actually stamp straight onto the paper. So if you wanted to, and you wanted to keep it in more in line, you could do that. So let's use this inside. Okay, so let's use that inside one of my pages instead of using it on the edge, and then I can print on the edge. Um, for that. Okay, so all I'm doing here is creating another piece. So let's create another piece. Let's do it on the other side because that's where I've started. Um, let's put that here and then put that under there. Okay, so again, you can see already we're creating these really lovely, lovely little pieces. Um, and we're not doing a lot, are we? We're just using, maybe you've got scraps from another pad. Maybe you're, you, you know, you're looking at creating something small. You could then make this on a larger scale. You don't have to always keep everything small. So just putting my little pads on the back. I'm offsetting that. And this is where you can then start to bring in your little metal embellishments, um, bring in your little uh, bits and pieces. Maybe you've got a little bit of string somewhere. I'm just finding my little metal embellishment at the moment. So say I've got one of these, so I might want to, I might want to put that there. So that, that, that just makes it that little bit different. So let's stick that down, stick that into there. I'm using the Pentile Express glue, which is absolutely brilliant for this sort of thing. Or you can do use the heavy body gels. They're really nice. So really all I'm doing is coming in with with a little bit of um, glue. I don't know what the time is because I've forgotten my watch today. So it's like, oh, what is, what's the time, Paul? 11.40. 11.40, oh, not too bad then. So we'd like to do an hour at the most. So now you can see how lovely that looks with just one small little embellishment. That's the shock art embellishments. So you can just see how this is all coming together. Now, if you wanted to use a bit of string, you just take a string, I've just got a colour that really matches this, um, and I'm just going to use a little bit of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just use that, put it through your hands, and then just sort of roll it. 
People always say, how do you get it so that it all comes together? Well, that's exactly how you get it. So then what you want to do is you might decide, well, actually, hmm, I want to let me create another page because I think that's that would be um, otherwise we're going to get too much onto this page. So you might want to just put that little bit of string just there. And then what happens is you get another one of these little. Let's take her from here. You make me oh, you make me happy. Let's take her. There we go. It's a beautiful cardstock. You can colour it whatever colour you want. And the same with the You Make Me Happy pads. They're just so easy to colour. So we've got this beautiful, beautiful image again. And again, you just go in, you just take the colour you've chosen. We've chosen purple, as you can see on this occasion. And you just go in and you just do that. Now, and then all of a sudden, you're sort of, this is all coming to life. This is just a little, and you could do this on a larger scale. Now, can you see how that thread just works? It just, just sits there in the background, but it works. So let me just put this up here, and then we can tuck in the, the thread at the back. What I tend to do, and it's a cheat's way of doing it, is I take the thread, I stick a little bit of it onto the actual um, pad, and then what I do is I just pull the bits I want to pull. So you've got a little bit going on there. There we go. And I don't want to in the centre. I want to slightly off. And if you've got little bits floating around, you can just tuck those in. So I don't want it to be loads. I just want a little bit of, little bit of. So you've just got a little bit poking through there at the top, but it just creates that beautiful, beautiful finish. Again, what I've also done is there's another page, and these are the ones I was talking to you about. Um, these are actually from the planner. Uh, planner essentials from um, Elizabeth Crafts. So you can cut all of these and these fit so perfectly within your ATC's um, size. I mean they are, it's like as if they were made for this this project. So I've got a little bit of purple going on there. So again, can you see how this is all coming together? You might decide you want to put that one up there or you might decide actually I prefer it this way, which I do for some reason clock is at the bottom. So again, what you do is, is you're going to stick this down and you've got this really beautiful little album going on. It's so, so cute. I can't tell you how cute it is. There we go. And you can really go to, really, really go to town on this. I mean, you could layer this even further. You could do it, you know, you can make it whatever you want to make it. And again, I will finish it off and I will post some ooh, post some pictures of it. She says making glue everywhere. So let's use this at the back. So again, you know, you're just I'm feeling that's not quite in the centre. Um, you're just uh, really putting it just together using the little pieces that might be leftovers. So can you see how that's all coming together now? And it's such a lovely little story. Um, it's just so nice. And then again, you know, we've worked out, we can put the, the dragonfly can go here. Let's, let's put the dragonfly in there. And, um, and again, you can do, you can make little pockets, you can do lots and lots of different little things that you, you can do that just makes all this come together. So, you know, just make sure that your wings are within your creases because otherwise what will happen is when you close the book, you will not be able to do that. Okay, so let's show you. Oops. Okay, and you've got, it's just so nice. Like already we've got this really beautiful book coming on. And can you see how lovely that already looks? We've only done a few pages. So you can carry on doing um, more and more. I mean, you could actually, I'm going to take, I oh know, no, I'm going to leave her there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the other side. And I've got this one, this is one of the other dies from the planner. 
Um, and so all you do is, is just cut them out, take your ink pad to it, and then you've got these really beautiful mats which just fit with this, with this book. And again, if you want to, you can come in and you can sort of look, I've still got black ink on that, and come in and look at that already, how much that's already changed just from a white piece of paper. And again, you can put this into your book and then say, well, actually, I'm going to add something to that later, or I'm going to do, I'm going to do, you know, a different, different sort of page or, or whatever that looks like for you. So I'm just going to put that in there and then later I can put something on that. So that's already, you know, easy, very easy to do. And then if you want to, and you've got all these scraps, which I know I have, is you can then go back in and say, well, actually, you know, I've got this bit of scrap. I don't know what to do with it. So here you can just say, well, actually, do you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that into a, just a little, little pocket that's going to sit just here. Okay, so we can just go in. I'm not even going to make it straight or anything. I'm just going to colour it. And all of a sudden you're getting this little book, which you could put sentiment. Some of your, you know, you could write some notes in it. You could use the ATCs as your framework. So again, you've got this really beautiful project that you've done. So we can put it in there. Now, if you wanted to, you could maybe fold one of the edges down like this. I love doing these things. Okay. Just fold it just a little bit. Okay, so one bit is higher than the other. And then you could have the little fold again. And you've just got this little little purse here. And then when you open it, you could it's still beautiful inside. And then you can just put, maybe you want to put a little bit of string around that, you know. Just make it into a little, little wallet. So you've got... You've got all these ideas which all start to come together. I mean, just look at that, your little book within the book, yeah? So I just wanted to share with you just a little idea that I had. I mean, obviously, I can carry on with this, but just gives you an idea of where we're going with this. And you could do this with any of your stamp sets, any of your backgrounds. And I just think, you know, by changing the colour a little bit, by changing the little format a little bit, you could actually create these beautiful, beautiful little mini albums, which I think are absolutely gorgeous on so many levels. Just look at that. They're just so little that you've got in your stash. You know, it's so easy. Well, I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared with you today. I've really enjoyed doing it. The book is so beautiful, it really does lend itself to things so like this it also lends itself to some big projects if anybody missed um, the beginning and i'm sure um, that uh, a few of you may have done we've just got this beautiful box which has also been done it's the atc box um, which we made as well using these papers I mean, just look at them they're just beautiful you get these beautiful atcs in here that you can cover and I've done pink on one side and I've done the the blue on the other and guess what these little books I've made all sit so well within the um, beautiful uh, box so I'm just gonna put that one in there just look at that oh and then then there's my next my other one so you could just have a little story or oh, pulled me a little dragonfly off on that one. Oh, poor thing. You could just have a little story and that would go in there as well. So can you see how they all look? Pull the, the little dragonfly off. And then you just shut your little lid. There we go. Got all of them in there. All safe and sound. Put your um, key in and you've got this beautiful ATC box, which we do have on the website. Okay. We made this beautiful little carrier case. Oh, look at that. Follow, follow your dreams. The, the, the know, they know the way. I've nearly got all that wrong. And then Jill did this beautiful album as well. 
And again, you've got all those elements in there. So if anybody who didn't see any of these, it's all there. And don't forget to look at Tamara Morton's Memories paper art where she's done a beautiful album. And then we've got the this one where it's the bigger canvas, which is really the big kit that we actually sell with the pad and all the embellishments, etc. So hopefully that's given you some, some food for thought. If you've got any questions, anything you want to know, then just let me know because I can't, I can't do anything if you don't let me know. I don't know how to do it or you want to see something. At three o'clock today, I will be doing Layla Flowers. It's one of the Pip Art stamps and she's absolutely beautiful. And this is actually a little mini online workshop it's at three o'clock this afternoon. It's five pounds to join. Um, just have a look. Uh, the links are on Dali Art Market. Um, and we've also put a little kit together with for you where you'll get the two stamps, all the embellishments, the seven by seven um, cherry blossom stencil, the base. To do this project, all you need to do is buy the mediums, which is just basically primer and one one paint of your choice, depending on what colours you want to go with. And then will I be making that? Anybody who does buy the kit will get the video as well sent to them free of charge. So that is really, really, so that's what it's all been about today. So I just hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And I look forward to seeing you at three o'clock this afternoon for those who are joining me. And I will be on Dali TV at four o'clock on Thursday so please come and join me for all those special offers and then um, I'll see you later for those and I'll be on again next Wednesday so have a lovely afternoon whatever you're doing and hopefully some of you will join me for this beautiful project this afternoon um, and bye for now <laughs>